let's learn how to draw an egret. I'm going to start with a circle up here about a third of the way down and a third of the way over. A uh, nice size circle. And then I'm going to put a long, narrow triangle that's going to eventually be the beak. And along this diagonal line here, I'm going to put, I'm going to draw in a diagonal line following this across the paper. Okay, so a couple of inches away from the head, I'm going to put a nice big oval here, and that's going to be the body. Alright, so now let's start working on the neck. So I'm going to, just for a guideline, we're going to start from the back of the circle, and we're going to come through. I'm going to make this angle a little bit further out, like an S I want to do. Come out and then come back in and then I'm going to connect right about there on the oval. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to draw a C from the top of the circle And coming around to here. So I just want to make this more pronounced, this turn here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a backward C from this intersecting line to the top of the oval. Okay. Now we are going to go from just under the circle, we're going to follow the S shape, the original S shape that we made, just a little bit away from there, given the thickness of the neck for the osper, um, excuse me, for the egret. So I'm gonna come around, and we're gonna join into this line here. Now, about halfway up on this diagonal line through the oval, I'm going to put a straight line, but on a little angle heading back to the left. This is going to be the leg. All right, so now that I have that, I'm going to put in another straight line on an angle, and this is going to be the front of the leg. Now I'm going to put in the other leg that would be further, that would be in the back. So this leg is gonna come like this and then come up like he's walking. He's stalking his prey. Okay, so let's now add in the shape of the tail feathers, and it kind of is going to come out. This is going to extend down quite a bit. All right, and now let's go ahead and draw in the. Let's go ahead and fine tune the head shape. Place the eye. They have a long, kind of narrow head. It goes up and then it kind of swoops back down. Let's erase these guidelines. Let's see what kind of shape we have going on here. So what I want to do is I want to bulk up this neck a little bit. I'm going to bring this a little bit higher and it's a little more squared off the angle. Okay, and then 
this here, come in, so it'll come way out. And it's gonna come down in, this is wrong. I'm gonna come closer in to the body. All right, and then this is the outer leg. So let's work off the feathers for the, the leg feathers, where it meets the black part, the skin part of the leg. Now let's get in the, the wing. So we're gonna put in a nice big oval right about here. Come down like that. All right, let's take this away. So now you can just go ahead and start adding details. You can add your feathers, add some shading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing. Adding in my details, going as far as I want to. I'm probably not gonna spend too much time on this one. Kind of like the, uh, the quick sketch kind of loose feeling of these. And you can use your eraser to um, not only clean up the outer lines, but you could use it as um, to add highlights. All right, if you want, you could add in a little texture for feathers. So now, if you want, you can uh, give them a little walk to be standing on or standing in the marsh. Let's see. I'm going to put them on a log, I think. Growing up during the 70s and 80s on the shores of the Shinnecock, Tiana, and Peconic Bays, I do not recall ever seeing one of my favorite long-legged wading birds, the Great Egret. Back then, the water quality was being greatly affected by pollutants and stormwater runoff. Since 1985, Cornell Marine has been successfully working on efforts to protect our waters, providing a clean environment for all of its inhabitants. The return of the great eager to our waters is a reflection of Cornell's work. Stop there, you can keep going. You can add a whole little marsh in the background. Use your imagination. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy.